All right, what's up, everyone? So today is going to be just kind of a like video on just the, this is going to be a reason tutorial on making that like, you know, the big dubstep chord thing I did the one time, because uh, I think that'd be cool to recreate inside of reason. Um, So we're going to need four serums and stuff. So basically the idea is we're going to have like the one like four serums inside of like one MIDI note and you press like, you know, a key and it plays like a full chord or whatever. Um, so that's what I want to do. So I'm going to need to get like, um, my serum and then right off the bat, I'm going to get a line mixer. I could get like a, a mixer mixer, like a bigger one. Those are some really tiny knobs, but like, you know, and you can have a little bit of EQ in here. But I don't think it's gonna matter too much. This, yeah, I think this will be okay um, because we can, you know, add any EQs we want uh, in between the chain. So, delete all in the group. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw in a line mixer at. The I was trying to get for the top, like in. Why does that want to have its own? Kind of put like a line mixer in here. Okay, there we go. And then it's gonna go like this. So it's gonna get its input here. Oops. So these are the ins, one, three, four, five, six. This is the out. That's gonna go to the master input. And we're gonna have, uh, we'll name these in a second. But this is gonna be our like super saw uh, duplicate. This is gonna be our um, detuned. And then we're gonna make one, it's gonna be our base. Just wanna get rid of that A, very stingy about that. Duplicate, and this can be like our high, or like the, what I call the accent. And there we go. So now if I route these, it's gonna be the audio out of the first one, it goes here, 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 and here and if I add any sort of EQs in here, it should no problem um uh reroute these for me automatically, so I shouldn't have to drag those again. We'll see though. Uh and then now I have basically every single serum that I can solo and I can adjust the volume and panning and even adjust how much reverb I want that specifically to have if I want to do it that way. So cool. And if I play this this instrument. Oh, this also needs to be in a combinator. I think if I do command G, nope. But I think I can do combine. Here we go. So now it's in a combinator. And now it does it, because when I play the combinator, it sends MIDI to everything. So there we go. Um, I think actually. Okay, that setup a little funny. I have to reset this up now. Uh, because I want this to go there. Like that. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll actually have, because I want to save this again in the future. So this is going to be the combinator input right there. And then the output can go to our, our mix channel. And this could come to the top of inside the combinator like that now. And we could just, we could put our effects in here, I guess. Like, you know, things we don't, but like whatever we want to save in the combinator, it needs to be in the combinator here. So now it's going to be a save in the combinator. Uh, and it works and yeah, so now we're gonna do the sounds. Um, so I guess like we'll just do this this I guess I could have copied these kind of um, but it's fine A bit more detune plus level um Bit of that then I'm gonna do the next one. It's gonna be like the exact same just way 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 tighter and then I can do higher like that with a bunch of voices and no hyper dimension. I'll just leave it. And then we'll do our bass. Uh, I'm going to solo the bass and then listen and actually make a bass. I think it's just going to be like white noise. Do bright white. Like that. Oops, close. And then let's make a high end one and it's going to be I want it to be higher than that. So if I play, say, like this, the 
this needs to be lower then by one. Okay, and this needs to be higher by one, I guess, because if I were to solo this now. Higher, I guess, and there we go. That'll work. I'll put some hyper, and then what really makes this one crazy is just all the distortion. And this one's usually much quieter than everything else. So it fits. Now we should have, like... So now we're going to need some EQs, obviously. So if I go into my effects, uh, for this, I'm going to use some fab filter EQs. If I plop that there, what did it do? So it did exactly what I wanted to. If I can I copy and paste this here? Will it do it? It will not do it that time. Um, how about if I can I do it that way? No, I can't. So I could drag one in, in between every serum and it's going to automatically go ahead and route them. Uh, that way cool so now we can come in here do like this 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 and come in here do it again and the base one's gonna be a little different so wait this one it's hard to see like what the names are so this one is the base oops we're gonna use this eq okay and then we have our Oops, wrong one again. We're going to have this one on the bottom. Okay, so now that we're all done with that, that's great. Um, there's a little more that needs to be done. So we have our chords. So what we need to do next is get some players. So we're going to need basically a scales and chords for each, each one here. Can I copy these around? Scales and chords, scales and chords. This is nice because it kind of separates them. And scales and chords on that one. And then on the other one, we're going to need a note echo. And then a scales and chords. If I can, there we go. So, cool. So we'll leave it in C major because that's A minor and that's fine. Uh, so it's going to filter the notes by default and make sure they're in key. So everything right now is fine. I'm going to add an octave down to the chords just because I could make them open. I could also make them sevenths. So maybe I'll make them sevenths as well. And then I'll move on to the bass one where I only want to play one note. Cause now if I get that one to, to play that note, it's not playing a note cause I don't have this selected. Cause I'm not supposed to be able to play chords. Not that I would, but if I play one note, you'll see it's just playing F question mark and the rest is playing F major seven. So that's what I wanted. And if I play, it'll sound a little more like this. And it's gonna sound funny uh, here. So I need to take the step, the repeats like off and leave that there. And then I can just change this. Maybe that'll be fine, we'll see. And this is gonna be loud because I forgot to do something kind of important, which is take these down and make sure they're not like clipping because they can be, they're clipping inside the plugin. Now I could do some level changing. Uh, they lost their names because I put them into the fab filters. So what I would have to do is just this real quick, just like double clicking, control copy, control copy. And now it's back to the way it was, all nice and named. These aren't the like, best mixed dubstep chords at the moment, which is like fine, but the point is there. So that's cool. Hope, hope this is interesting to somebody and you're like, oh, wow, I've never thought about making like one device that makes chords like super full chords or whatever. And yeah. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.